Hello everyone. Here we are again in our next video. And in this video, I'll tell you what ng template is, how ng template works, what are the use cases of ng template, and how behind the scenes our structure directive works. Right? So let's start. So as you can see, I have created a, a a static object over here and access it in our HTML. Right? So basically, what ng template is, template ng template is, uh, it is we can we can think of it as a snippet of code which is isolated together and can have its own context right what i mean to say is uh, as you can see currently this h1 tag and this p tag they are independent of each other right they are not isolated or they are not combined together right if i want to join them what i'll do is i'll create a div over here right and wrap all the content over here now they are kind of isolated but right but that is not the way we want it. If you'll see in HTML, right, in the DOM, this div is also rendered, which is an extra div, and we don't want this div, right? So what we'll do is, uh, we'll uh, we'll replace this div with ng template, right? So now, as you can see, this doesn't have any impact on our html we don't see anything on our html that is because this ng template is being instantiated programmatically by the framework itself right and we can also instantiate it by the program what i want to say is we cannot manually instantiate it in html right like other components so one of the way to instantiate or to see the content of ng template is uh, ng template outlet directive right i'll show you how we can use it prior to that let's give a reference to this template let's name it as data right so now we have a template with reference data in it with reference of uh, let's say not let's not call it data let's call it message or right message template correct so now to uh, instantiate this particular template what we'll do is we'll use ng dash content or we can simply create a div over here and in this div we can write a star ng template outlet right equal to and then the name of the template which you want to render so currently this will be the name of the template so yeah so as you can see now we have programmatically instantiated our template with the use of ng template outlet directive now if you see uh, we'll go to inspect elements and as you can see we don't have any div or anything like that but this particular thing is isolated in html they are independent but in code they are isolated to each other right and uh, one more thing this ng template this ng template uh, when uh, when when it is being rendered it is being converted into a, a, a this comment into a comment right so this is ng template is not being rendered it is being uh, converted into a comment and only the content is being rendered so this is the use case of ng template okay so let's take it uh, furthermore in deep right so now as you can see in this ng template we are using this data.title and data.message correct so which proves that ng template can access all the properties which are present outside of its context also what i want to say is this data property is present in its parent context right in the app component.html context in the scope or not in the context so let's say it uh, the scope right so it can access the properties which are not in it, which are not present, which are not part of its own context, but outside of its context, context, right? So if we have data dot message, so this is the same thing goes over here also. So let's just say, same message can be accessed over here, right? Ng template can access the its parent properties, right? First thing. Second thing is we can even pass parameters to ng template. We can even pass parameters to ng template just like the our input directive 
or at the rate input and we used to pass properties of uh, uh, parameters to it right so only the thing is the syntax is quite different so the syntax is let dash this is the syntax and then the name of the parameters which we want to pass suppose if i want to pass title in it or let's say a, a message title right msg t i t l right this will be the parameter and i want to access it over here correct so nothing is being shown why because uh, we have passed it we have declared it that this ng template will have a parameter but we have not passed it when we are instantiating it right so for that what we will do is uh, we will pass one more property to it that is context we will define the context of this ng template right so this context will be an object right and in that we can pass msg dash t msg title right and its value will be data dot message correct okay. what happened unexpected reading here So now as you can see uh, we have successfully passed the msg title but we are not using it we have to tell it what will be the value from the context to it so suppose let's say i will uh, say it the same way right so now as you can see the title is being passed to our ng template let me tell you let me explain you once more this thing so in ng template we can define its own context context in the sense it has its own properties right which are private to this particular template only this template only can use it right so for that thing we need to pass down to this template right we, do, we need to pass uh, the things down to this template and one of the way is context using the context so we have to first define what parameters we want so let's say let message or title is there and uh, and if i want to add another parameter to it if I suppose if i want to put two different uh, parameters to it right so this will be message right message right so this is the msg title just a second yeah so this we have passed and one more thing now we will pass message dot message over here which will be data dot message and this will be data dot title right correct and we can access this message over here directly correct i hope it is making sense to you what we are doing is we are first declaring that our ng template will have parameters in it like this right so we are declaring it with the let dash keyword so let dash and the name of the parameter is message 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 msg message right and the property will be what property will it bind to from context so from context suppose if i'm passing message dot title right i can change we can even change the name of it right dash uh, let's prefix it with a uh, con right so prefix, prefix it with con so this and this right? i hope it is making sense now so let name of the parameter and then what will be the value from the context which which will be bind to it so this is con just message right and in the context we will pass down this an object which will have all the values in it right okay so now as you can see uh you're quite familiar with the ng template uh, structure right? let's see how our structural directive works right let me show you one of the way to sorry 
they will be there and it will pass star mgf to it and then the name of the property that is data dot this message if that message is true then we will show data dot message right so this is one of the way but the second way is uh, sorry uh, this is njf right so this is njf now behind the scene what angular do is it will convert this uh, very small and very uh, very handy syntax to a very complex syntax let me show you what it looks like so it would somewhat looks like ng dash template we create a template we will create a template Sorry. so it will yeah. so it will create a template same like this way correct then it will take all the content from here to here right wherever we are applying this ng that particular element will be pushed down to this ng template right and this condition will again be shifted from this div to this ng template right and this asterisk will be removed and it will be like this way so now also as you can see this is working accurately fine right so this is also correct way of using ngf but it is quite difficult and uh, quite complicated so they have given a sugar syntax for uh, using ngf right and uh, how this is being done is with this asterisk symbol right now many of you might think why we are using it so basically behind the scene this asterisk symbol will uh, instantiate will create a ng template put our content in it and do all this uh, hard work for us correct so this is it this is it for now this is how our uh, structural directive works and this is how ng template works